On this episode of Micromatic, I'm going to do a quick comparison between the Olympus 25mm lens and this Panasonic 20mm. While I was reviewing Olympus's 25mm lens, I thought I would take a second and compare it to Panasonic's 20mm lens. Uh, in a lot of ways, they're very similar. They're both very fast lenses. They both have, you know, wide apertures. Uh, they both have pretty much normal focal lengths. Uh, and they're both pretty reasonably priced. They both make really good choices for your first Micro Four Thirds lens. In fact, the Panasonic 20mm was my first Micro Four Thirds lens. It's super useful, very flexible focal length, uh, it takes fantastic images, uh, but about a year ago I sold it and I bought the Olympus 25mm. Uh, and I thought maybe I'd take a second and talk about the differences between this and the Olympus uh, and sort of the pros and cons of both. So compared to the Olympus, this Panasonic 20mm has a bit wider angle view. Um, it's still kind of in that normal range where it's good for portraits, group shots, landscapes, kind of good for everything, uh, but it is a little bit wider. So when you're taking those portraits, maybe you're not gonna get quite as much bokeh in the background. Not necessarily a bad thing, but just something to keep in mind. Another significant difference between the Olympus and this Panasonic lens is the size of the lens. I mean, look at that, it's so small. The, the Panasonic carries what's known as a pancake lens, which means it's just, Super, super small. Uh, as size is a big reason why I got into mirrorless cameras and Micro Four Thirds specifically, having a much smaller lens is quite a nice thing. Another big difference between these lenses is the price. Because this lens is older, it's been around longer, the price has come down quite a bit. You can find this used for 250 sometimes $200, which is kind of a bargain. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, if you can find this lens at that price, it's hard not to recommend it. As far as image quality goes, there's not much between them. They're both fantastic lenses. Uh, if I had to say though, I would say that the Panasonic actually pulls out a bit more detail than the Olympus, um, with the only downside really being that it vignettes wide open. If you shoot this lens at f1.7, which is what it opens up to, you might notice some vignetting, which shows up as slightly dark corners. Not a big deal, something you can correct quite easily in Lightroom, if you're in Lightroom, or it's just something you can kind of live with because it still looks fantastic. The one issue that a lot of people have with the Panasonic 20mm, and is in fact the, the issue that caused me to sell the lens, is that it's not the fastest focusing lens out there. Uh, it's a little slow to focus, it tends to hunt in low light, um, it makes a lot of noise, it moves, it's just not quite as elegant as newer Micro Four Thirds lenses. Now, I got this lens actually just as a gift for somebody recently, and it gave me a chance to reevaluate its focus speed. And I gotta be honest, it's actually not as bad as I remember. In good lighting conditions, focus speed is actually reasonably quick. It's only when the lens has to hunt for focus, right? That's in low light situations or anytime you're photographing something where contrast is hard to detect, that this thing becomes slow or feels really sluggish. You know, most lenses will hunt in certain scenarios, uh, but something like the Olympus 25mm, it hunts really quickly. It'll go boo, 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 boo and it's got your focus. This thing is like <laughs> and eventually it gets focus. It's just not the fastest. If you're taking pictures of kids, you're taking pictures of animals, your pets running around, uh, the focus of this might be an issue. If you're taking landscape pictures or you're taking portraits, I, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem. Um, but for that reason, I do still think that the Olympus 25mm is just a little bit nicer to use. And this is kind of a personal thing, but for me, the 20mm focal length never really clicked. When I got the 25mm, it became a lot more familiar kind of instantly, whereas with the 20mm, I always felt that it was either a little bit too wide or a little bit too narrow for what I was trying to photograph. Uh, but again, that's a personal thing. I can't say that because I have that issue with the focal length that you necessarily will. It's a great, useful focal length. Objectively, it's useful. So that is Panasonic's 20mm versus Olympus's 25mm. I hope I've made it a little bit easier to decide between them, but maybe I haven't. If your budget allows only for what this costs, then this is a great choice. Go for it, get the Panasonic 20. If your budget allows for the Olympus 25mm, 
uh, because of the reasons I outlined in this video, I still think that the Olympus 25 mil is a better buy. I hope that was more helpful than confusing, and if you thought it was, hit the like button down below. Uh, if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next episode of Micromatic.